Hey, welcome to Cal Free Kicks. Today's leather free shoe review is all about the new Nike Crater Impact. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't seen one of my videos before, I always look into five main things when I review a pair of sneakers. I think that looks, comfort, weight, breathability, and price are all very important aspects when you're looking to buy a pair of sneakers. So at the end of the video, I'll take all of them into account and give these sneakers an overall rating out of five stars. If you like what you see as you're going along, please do not forget to click the little thumbs up like button below on your device. And whilst you're down there, if you'd like to show some support, you can subscribe to the channel. If you click that little subscribe button and the little bell that pops up next to it, you will get a fresh notification every time a video drops on the channel. And also, if you want to be in with the chance of winning a pair of sneakers, I am still doing a giveaway. If you want to enter, all you have to do is watch the Nike Wear All Day video that I'll link somewhere up here at the end. Full terms and conditions are there. Right, let's not hold this review up any longer. Let's start off by checking out these Nike Crater Impacts on feet. The Nike Crater Impact is part of Nike's Move to Zero initiative, where the company wants to become a zero carbon emission and zero waste company, which is great. This shoe is part of that and is partially recycled. 25% of the materials used on this shoe by weight are recycled materials. Now, weirdly enough, with that, you get a little tab on the shoe that says that 20% of the shoe is actually made from recycled materials. But online and on the app, there's a little caveat to say it's actually 25%. Now the shoe itself, I don't think that this light bone kind of stone upper really goes very well with this blue gray crater mid. I don't think this colorway really shows off this shoe to its best. Not the biggest fan of it, to be honest. To me, it looks like two shoes have been kind of sandwiched together. I just don't think they match. Now with the other colorways that Nike are releasing, I think they've done a much better job and I do think they look much better and they're easier on the eye. But for me, I just don't think this colorway works. Now the shoe itself, I'm a massive fan of the recycled Nike Crater midsole. I love this blue midsole. I love the speckled colors that you get from the partially recycled rubber bits. And I love it when you turn it over and you get the Nike grind material on the toe and also on the heel of the shoe. I really do like the midsole for this shoe. I like how squidgy it feels. Then you get to the upper. I really like this embroidered kind of zebra print swoosh that you get on this side of the shoe. There's some mesh material in the toe area. When you get to the middle of the shoe, now it's fully synthetic and textile the upper on this and the label confirms that and so does the Nike website. But in the middle of the shoe, it almost feels like the material that's been used is like if suede and cardboard had a baby together, you would get this material. It feels a bit suede but almost like cardboard as well. It's very strange material on the midfoot. Then as you move towards the back of the foot, you've got more mesh again. You've got some nice like, yellow vault detailing around the back. You've got slightly strange heel pull on this one where you can get your finger through the top but definitely can't get any fingers through the bottom. Then you can see in the middle and in the insole there, you've got this bright yellow vault colorway with the move to zero initiative symbol there. On the tongue of the shoe, you've got a Nike swoosh at the top, and then you've got some webbing that goes through the middle of the tongue where the laces are intertwined. Now, something that's really clever about this is the webbing that they've used around the edge here. You can see in this kind of orange sunburnt red that is recycled, and it's this webbing for the eye stay that creates the lace loops. The laces are actually weaved in and out of it, so you don't have traditional lace holes. This webbing is attached to the upper, and the laces weave in and out of it. I really do like that touch. Now, next, I wanna see how comfortable this Nike Creator Foam midsole is.
These Nike Crater Impacts queued up twice to get their midsole. There's so much Crater foam, more than I think there was on any of the versions of the Space Hippies previously released that also use this Crater Mid. It's very chunky towards the toes, you can see, and it's hugely chunky in the middle and towards the heel of the shoe. And if you look at it from a bird's eye view, you can see how much it sticks and bows out towards the heel of your foot. Now, it's a little bit misleading because you can just see this little ridge here as it rises up towards and joins the upper this part here is actually used for extra stability around the heel cup and your foot doesn't sit on that your foot sits on this part here where the ridge runs through but it's very nice and comfortable underfoot i definitely say though the comfort levels taper off the closer you get towards the toe box area you can see in the step test that it wasn't very responsive around the toe and there's very little flex in this shoe the most amount of flex was in the heel and in the midfoot and those parts do feel really nice underfoot on top of your foot it does feel really nice and soft it's very low cut towards the heel but i think you get enough support from this webbing lacing system and it does feel nice and soft on the top of your foot it's an absolute true fit so don't worry about going half a size up or half a size down i found these a really nice fit Next, I want to move on to their weight where I want to pop them on the scales. Tipping the scales at 355 grams. I think that's a really, really good weight for a shoe that don't forget is partially recycled. So it's gonna be more difficult to possibly keep the weight down than it is a shoe that's being tailor-made to be lightweight. Now a lightweight sneaker probably sits around 330 grams and below. So it's just above that. And I think that's a really good job by Nike to create a shoe that it is 25% recycled and also has a very nice weight. And don't forget, these really are aimed at the lifestyle market. So I don't think you need to worry about the weight in terms of a performance sneaker for an everyday wear they're not going to weigh you down at all now i want to move on to their breathability where i want to pump the sneaker full of smoke to see how much escapes from the upper so this fully synthetic and textile upper really disappointed in the breathability test you can see there that the smoke only escaped from parts of the tongue now that means that unfortunately the rest of the materials on this upper are not going to offer any breathability now nike have said that the materials used are airy but i don't think they're airy in any way now you've got some mesh on the toe box area here with perforations on it but unfortunately underneath that you have like a fully lined layer which is obviously added for comfort but really does impact the breathability and this synthetic material on the sides is very thick now that also is going to really keep the heat in so i wouldn't wear these to be honest in humid conditions because i don't think they're going to offer you any breathability Next, I want to look at their price. Now, these come in at £95, which for me is one of the cheaper versions of these Nike recycled shoes and the Move to Zero initiative that's around. So I think that's a very, very good price point for this shoe. Now, I want to move on to my overall score for the sneakers. And I did find these quite hard to review because I really do love the initiative. I love the fact that they're partially recycled, but this particular colorway, I just don't think it works very well. Now there are other colorways available, so I will take that into account. But the one thing that really bugged me about these was their breathability. I just don't think you could really get away with wearing these in hot, humid months at all, because your feet are really gonna sweat. So for that reason, I'm gonna give these three and a half stars. I do really think the price is very good and they are surprisingly comfortable for a recycled sneaker. Like I said, looks wise they're okay, I just don't like this colorway very much and breathability has really let them down. But a plus point, a massive plus point again, is their weight. Now if you agree with what you've seen today or you don't, please drop a comment below and let me know. If you haven't already, throw the video a like before you leave and again, you can follow me on Instagram or subscribe to the channel below and do not forget to watch the Nike Wear All Day video that I'll link around here somewhere at the end of the video and you could be in with a chance of winning a pair of sneakers if you follow the rules. Thanks very much for watching, bye.